Today, I am going to be cleaning out my closet today. I bought all those sweater vests that you saw if you watched my uh, day after Vlogmas video. I bought 10 sweater vests. <laughs> And um, I just need to go through my closet. There's a lot of things in there that I bought because I didn't know what I wanted my wardrobe to look like. I had just gotten rid of a lot of my stuck at 16 wardrobe and I didn't really know what I wanted but I needed something to wear. <laughs> so I had gone to Walmart and picked up a bunch of these shirts for like $3 because they were on clearance. And I, they're fine, but I have a bunch of them and I don't need them. And there's just some things that I don't really want to wear anymore. Like um, I've already pulled out a couple of things here. There's one of those shirts. And another slightly different color and I'm also going to get rid of these leggings I've got two pairs of those I'm gonna keep the I'm wearing the red ones and the blue ones um, I'm gonna keep a few leggings but I've got a lot of things that I just need to donate and so let's get in here and see what needs to go because I also need more hangers to put up my sweater vests. I was thinking about like buying more hangers but I thought you know what I'm not going to do that I need to declutter I need to get rid of some things so let's make some new hangers by just doing that <laughs> all right let's Go to it. Numero uno is going to be these guys. I have literally had these jeans for like 10 years, maybe more. But they finally, where is it? I finally got the beginnings of a hole in the knee. I don't wear, I, I don't wear jeans. I wear them like every great once in a while when we go out. Um, I was really proud of myself when I got these because they're a 910 and they fit at the time. Um, I had bought them, they came up to here, <laughs> and that was it. That was as far as I could get them. And then I lost 50 more pounds and they fit, they still fit fine, but I don't wear them. I don't, I'm not a jeans person. I have a nicer pair of jeans that I like more. So they're, they're out, they're out of here. This is the newer pair of jeans that I have that I actually like a lot more. I like the way they fit. I like their style. And they're hanging upside down, but they're actually a high-waisted, which I didn't think I was going to like, but I really do. Those are really low rise. They're very dated. <laughs> um, they're like, early 2000s style and yeah they need to go I guess the easiest way is just to pull out everything and reorganize all right so I am getting rid of one of these and keeping one these are like insulated leggings and I use them for tights under my um, 
dresses, skirts, whatever. I'm going to get rid of this pair. I never wear it. It's just going. Goodbye. All right, I'm keeping these two pants, these three pants. Um, I have four pairs of these like dress slacks. And then this is a pair of insulated slacks. So I will keep those and I will keep this pair of leggings. I like the little lattice thing on the bottom there. <clears throat> I just bought this skirt, so I will be keeping it. This is my keep pile. This is my go pile. We'll look at both when we get done. These pants, I'm going to get rid of I need to get, uh, I'll see how many, what pants I end up with, and I may end up getting rid of these too. I have two pairs of black ones and one pair of gray ones, and they're like a legging style. So we shall see. Those will be keeping. These we established I'm keeping. These are jeggings. Let's see if they're my size still. They fit nice. I just, I have so many other pants that I wear. Oh yes, they are. Um, these are 11, so they should fit me fine. Um, they're pretty comfortable. I just haven't been wearing black as much. These are the other two pair of slacks that I have. As you can see, they still have a tag on them. So yes, keeping those. These are all skirts for church and I will be keeping these because I don't have that many. This is my white one. Red velvet, maroon velvet, whatever you want to call it. This one I like, it looks like old Victorian style. I wore this one for Christmas. Uh, just a gray. And if I get some better skirts, I will eventually slim these down as well. And then this is the blue one that I bought at, T at TJ Maxx and the yellow one I also bought at TJ Maxx. These are a little more like some spring or summer and fall, but I don't care about that. I wear it anyway. I don't know how I feel about this one. I like it. I just haven't figured, I'm still not comfortable with wearing, it's more of a summer shirt, so I guess I'll hold on to that for now. These are t-shirts. Um, these are the only t-shirts I have left. Four t-shirts that I have left. So I guess I can hold on to them. They're not really something, well, the Jack Skellington one could probably be resold, but the others are more personalized, so whatever. All right, this is my little hoodie that I wear and I do like it, so I will hold on to that. Uh, these, this is my new Christmas vest, so it will go in the back of my closet for my Christmas wear. This is my new turtleneck, so I will keep that. And my new jean shirt for Christmas, and I will keep that, but let's put it in the seasonal pile. Alright, I don't wear this very much because I don't, I have so many other shirts that I end up like holding it as a good shirt. So I'm going to put this in my keep pile and start wearing it more often because I'm getting rid of other stuff. 
same with this one, exact same thing. So we'll put it in this pile and keep it. I am holding on to this because they are um, warm in winter. This one, however, can go. I've got two of this color and I only need one of this color. So it's gonna go. These shirts, I like, they're more like substantial than those other ones. So I am gonna keep this one and I love this color. Um, this is like a cropped shirt. And you know, I don't wear it anymore very often. So it's gonna go. It's gonna go. Goodbye. This one I just bought at Maurice's and I do like it. And again, I see it as more of a dressy shirt, but I will just have to get over that and start wearing it. This is another of that same fabric and I do like this one. This is the only one I'm keeping in this color. All right. I will keep this one. I never even wore it, um, but it's the only one in this style that I'm keeping. Here is the one that I have worn, so that one will go. Um, this is another of the ribbed style, so I will keep this one. I will have two green. I do like this color on me. I haven't decided about the yellow. I think it's gonna go. It's gonna go. I like it, but I have the this kind, the thermal style. So that one can go. It's like, what are you doing here? Alright, um, I think I'm gonna get rid of this one. I don't need it and Again, it's one of that t-shirt style fabric, and I don't need that many of those. I like this one. I like, it's more of like a, I don't know, spandex kind of fabric, and I like it better. So that is that gray one. This one is actually a pajama top, so I've got the bottoms. So I'll hold on to that. This is a, thermal shirt, that's nice, and I will hold on to this one. And of course, my cardigan, I will hold on. I wear that to church sometimes. And it's cute for the spring. So these are pajamas, basically. Almost all my sweaters I'm going to keep. Um, I like this one. It's a little bit oversized, but I like it. This one is nice for the spring. It's a cute color. This one as well. This I bought with those skirts, and this is a tried and true sweater that I like. So I'll keep those. I do live in sweater country now. I have this gray one, which I do like a lot. It's got a nice turtleneck and the little side gather. This one though, I think I'm gonna get rid of. I don't wear it. It doesn't, I thought it was gonna look cute. It just doesn't fit the way that I wanted it to. I tried wearing it with a turtleneck under. It just doesn't work. 
I love the colors of it, but it just doesn't work. Um, I'll keep this one. It is a nice like crop sweater, although it's getting a little bit worn, so it'll be going soon, but I have not given it up yet because I need to find something similar. And of course, this one I just bought. It's very sparkly and I do love it. So we'll hold on to this one. This is going in, it's a keep for sure. It's going in the holiday piles. Same with this guy. I could not get rid of him. He is a definite keep and goes in the holiday pile. Um, these are old and stained, so goodbye. These are turtlenecks. Again, I wore these at Disney under my costume to cover my tattoos, so goodbye to those. And um, I love, I love this shirt. It has a slight, like, poofy sleeve, and I love it. It's got, like, a sparkle. I don't know if you can see it on camera. Probably not. I wore it to church this week with my plaid skirt, and it looked amazing. This is definitely a keep. This is my Christmas sweater. My dress and Christmas sweater. I love the, uh, it looks so Victorian. I love the detail right there. Uh, this one I wear from time to time. I guess if I had more opportunity to wear it, I would. But since I had so many other shirts, I didn't. We'll see about that one. This one I've worn once. I was surprised that I even bought this for the crazy color. And I'm thinking about trying it with one of my um, sweater vests. Although it is a Western shirt, it has the, you know, pockets. So I don't know how that will look. But I was thinking with either the black or one of the plain, like, white, the cream. One, we shall see but this was a, a, a really big gamble for me this particular color scheme a little crazy and I have these guys that I wear in the summertime because they keep the Sun off of me it's pink and it's blue they're not very flattering. They look a little frumpy, but they keep me out of the sun. So until I get something better, we'll keep those. And this one I do love. It's kind of a crop shirt, but it looks really good with something else under it. Like a tank top. I need to iron the little pockets because they're all wrinkly. But yeah, we'll keep that one. It's cute. I had less of these easy go-to shirts i would wear those more often this is another that i used to wear under my costume at disney it's stained and um i used to wear it working out in the garden and i don't do that anymore so goodbye this is one of my 50s style dresses I need to wear them more often. I need to get a trench coat so or an overcoat so I can wear them without my skirt blowing up. It's usually why I don't end up wearing them. My skirt goes whoosh. Um, This is another new flannel or a thermal shirt so I will keep this. I think I've gotten rid of all of my old grungy ones. Hmm. This is a very like dressy shirt. So neck cut out. I haven't worn it in a while, but it's also been buried in back of my closet, so we shall see.
This is another one I should wear. It's very nice. I should wear it to church sometime. It's not super low cut. I just like the um, neck collar thingy. I have the print. Yeah, I hide all of these things for myself. This is another 50 style dress. I really like this one. Again, have the problem with the skirt blowing up. And then this is my summer dress that I absolutely adore with the lemons on it. This was a big gamble for me, but I do look super cute in it and I love it. It was a gamble because of the print. And this neckline, if you are a pear shape, this neckline is amazing because it draws the eye to this unusual neckline instead of your short torso and weird looking shape. <laughs> oh, let's see if we got the Cosmic Avalanche here. All right, these are my two sweaters that go over my 50s style dresses if they have short sleeves. So I'm keeping these. I love this one. I love this sparkly button. This one's really nice too. This one only buttons at the top, so it leaves this part. I, I just love this one. I need to get this one in more colors. I got this on Am both of these on Amazon as well as the dresses. And these are the last things left in my closet. This is a like an evening type dress. Um, I only wear things with sleeves over them. I don't wear um, tops without sleeves because I don't like my arms. So there's that one, and then this one is like a crushed velvet and has a lace over top thing. I guess I can throw those back in the back of my closet. Who knows if you'll ever, you know, these are the kinds of things that you don't know if you're ever going to ever, ever, ever in your whole life need ever so well, let's put it back that's it that is it let me show you what it looks like in here uh, these are all scarves i need to organize a little bit better so they're not quite so poofy i bought this scarf holder at ikea I just need to arrange it better. And then this is a cozy jacket that I have not actually worn yet. And it looks super comfy. It's like a lounging around the house jacket, not a wear outside jacket. All right, so here is the pile of things that I'm getting rid of. It's pretty substantial considering I don't have that many clothes to begin with. And then there's my heat pile. All right, this one's gonna go too. Um, it's gonna hit the road, Jack. Then I will be forced to wear more of the clothes that I deem special and tend to put in my closet and never wear although they're not any more special than anything else i don't know why i'm like that but yes the only thing i don't tend to wear um like on the regular is sweaters because frodo gets when he climbs up on me his nails get caught in it and it pulls and destroys my sweater and i don't like to destroy my sweaters so those are the only things that I don't wear on a regular basis. As you can see, the things that I do wear are not incredibly flattering. And that's because of my shape, my shoulder. I have a pear shape, so my shoulders are slightly 
more, I almost have an hourglass shape, but my shoulders are slightly more narrow than my hips. And to have an hourglass, they are even. So I try to get a more like a boat neck or um, something that has some more like bigger shoulders to balance out the difference because otherwise I look like Pear. <laughs> it's just as simple as that. <laughs> so yeah. But thanks for joining me while I cleaned out my closet. I'm going to take all of this stuff to the donation folks um, and probably shop there for some more shirts to go under my sweater vests. Because um, the thrift store that I went to to buy my Christmas stuff, everything is a dollar. So why not? That's a no brainer. So I will say goodbye to all of this old stuff. Some of it has been with me for many, many, many years. And I will let somebody else enjoy it. They also give away clothes at that thrift store. So hopefully some of the ones that they're not going to resell will get donated to folks who are in need. But thanks for joining me again. Um, I think next we're going to maybe do the pantry. I don't know. Um, probably do more around my desk. So I'm going to put all this stuff back. And I'll show you what it looks like when I get it all put back. <laughs> well, there we go. I haven't added back in my sweater vests yet, but they will go right here in the front. And it looks a lot more manageable. I have to rearrange my scarves, but that looks much better. And it feels better for the um the new year so that's that um i didn't really get a before picture but you've seen my closet in my i'll see if i can find a picture of it from one of my um putting away my clothes videos i've got so many pictures of my closet i'll find one and insert a before and after thank you so much for joining me um decluttering and paring down and getting rid of things is not always easy especially when you're a hoarder i feel like you know i'm i should keep all of these clothes because i might need them someday but i really and truly have more than enough and now i can cycle through them a little bit better because I'm not wearing the same like five shirts every single day of the week, which is fine. You know, I, I still have such a small amount of clothes that I can cycle through them, but I just get into the habit of wearing the most comfortable thing, whether it looks horrible or not. <laughs> so maybe I can upscale my mode of fashion a little bit and yeah get back on track so thank you for joining me and i will see you next time peace out and remember the world is full of amazing kind wonderful beautiful people and if you're not able to find one of those folks you can be one bye